Welcome to a proof of the derivative of f of x equals arc cotangent x. We'll prove the derivative of arc cotangent x with respect to x equals negative one divided by the quantity one plus x squared. So to begin, we'll let y equal arc cotangent x, and notice in this equation, x would be the cotangent function value, and y would be the angle. And then it follows that cotangent y must equal x, where the angle y would be on the open interval from zero to pi radians, meaning the angle y can be in the first or second quadrant. Let's go ahead and model angle y using a reference triangle or a triangle where we have cotangent y equals x if we want x over one. And since cotangent theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side, using this right triangle here, if we label this angle y, we can label the adjacent side x and the opposite side one, and therefore using the Pythagorean theorem, we can determine the length of the hypotenuse would be equal to the square root of the quantity one squared plus x squared, which simplifies to the square root of the quantity one plus x squared. However, it is important to recognize that if angle y is in the first quadrant, then the cotangent function value would be positive, so x would be positive, but if the angle y is in the second quadrant, then the cotangent function value would be negative, and therefore x would be negative. Also notice using this right triangle, that sine y, which is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, would be equal to one divided by the square root of the quantity one plus x squared, and cosine y, which is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, would be equal to x divided by the square root of the quantity, one plus x squared. So for the next step in our proof, we'll differentiate both sides of this equation here with respect to x. And because we have an implicit equation, we do have to perform implicit differentiation. So now we have the derivative of cotangent y with respect to x equals the derivative of x with respect to x. The derivative of cotangent y with respect to x is equal to negative cosecant squared y times dy dx, which must equal the derivative of x with respect to x is one, and now we solve for dy dx by dividing both sides by negative cosecant squared y. So we have dy dx equals negative one divided by cosecant squared y, and because one over cosecant y is equal to sine y, we can rewrite this as negative sine squared y. And now because we know that sine y is equal to one divided by the square root of the quantity one plus x squared, we have dy dx equals, notice how here the negative is not attached to the exponent, so we have a negative outside the parentheses, and then we have one divided by the square root of one plus x squared, all squared to raised to the second power, which equals negative one divided by the quantity one plus x squared. And therefore we have our proof. Also notice how for any x value, the derivative function value is going to be negative, which means for the function f of x equals arc cotangent x, at any x value, the slope of the tangent line is going to be negative, and the function is always decreasing. And let's verify this by looking at the graph of f of x equals arc cotangent x. Here's a graph of f of x, and again, because the derivative function value is always negative, notice how at any x value, the slope of the tangent line is going to be negative, and this function is always decreasing, again, because the first derivative is always negative, so we can say that this function is monotonically decreasing. I hope you found this helpful.